I just uh, tried to uh, get our feedlot participants to think about feeding as a business and how they need to approach that business and some planning and finding their niche and their advantages in an industry so there was a margin of profit in it. How much margin or what opportunities do you see in cattle feeding for North Dakota? Is it the stocker, the finishing, the replacement? Uh, historically, we've mostly fed stocker cattle, wintered cattle over, put some added gain on, uh, and not finished a large number because we're quite distant from the, the end markets, the packing plants. Uh, so that will continue to be our main opportunity. And as some new things unfold and we may get more packing capacity closer to North Dakota, then actually I think we'll transition very well into considerably more fish. What opportunities for classes of livestock and profitability do you see for North Dakota, John? Uh, one of the classes of cattle that, uh, since we are a large cow-calf state, we, we tend to have a market and demand for, for breeding females, uh, whether they're at time of breeding or as bred heifers going into the cow herd. And I think some of our feeding facilities can gather up heifers when they're selling at a discount in the fall, can grow them, develop them, breed them, package them, market them profitably. That's one. I think also uh, the feedlots tend to uh, want to place heavier calves in, especially these monoslope barns in Minnesota, some eight weight type cattle. Uh, we can take the five, six weight calf off the cow and grow it to eight very efficiently with the feeds we have. And most years there's a margin of profit, not huge, you know, $30 or something per head. Uh, the finishing one, that's a little bit more of a roller coaster. Uh, we hit some really good uh, runs when the market goes up, uh, make a lot of money, and when things go against us, we can also lose a bit. So I think uh, the volatility in uh, finishing cattle is great. Uh, takes more skill in doing so. Our feeds have to be managed better. But there's certainly some opportunity there, too, for the bull to, to tackle. What about cull cows in North Dakota? Uh, it would seem like that would be an easy one for us in North Dakota to feed cull cows, although it is not that easy because they are fairly poor converters. So uh, if we have a very cheap feed source, such as a grain screening, uh, and they convert poorly, it's cheap enough that it still makes sense. But typically we have to have high performance plus a rising market to really make good profits in that. Some people have sourced thin young cattle from certain areas in drought, bring them in, feed them these byproducts, they've done extremely well but it takes some planning. It's not uh, automatic that you uh, add value to a cold cow. A lot of things have to be considered.